here's kind of the misconception and that we talked about. So we talked about, guys, this like evolution of our, our trigonometric functions, like sine of theta, we talked about as opposite over hypotenuse. And then we said sine of theta was represented as you know, y over r. And then we last just talked about sine of theta is equal to y. So again, this is something that is just in space, right? These are for the coordinate system, but this is when r is equal to 1. Very, very important that you understand that. So the reason, let me kind of make my case. Last class period, I asked you to do something like this. Evaluate the six trigonometric functions for this given point, right? So now a mistake that students would make is now that I've introduced them to these new definitions, they say, oh, well, if here's my coordinate point, this is x and y, then the sine of theta has to be y, and the, and the I'm sorry, not equal to y, is equal to 3, and the cosine of theta is equal to 2, because that's the definition. Right? But again, that definition is based on r equaling 1, meaning it has to be a point on the unit circle. So let's go and sketch the graph 2, 3. Now let's sketch a graph of a unit circle, a circle with a radius of 1. It's pretty obvious this point is not on the unit circle. right? So these definitions are incorrect. Agree. Okay, so if we have a point on the unit, if we have a point not on the unit circle and we need to evaluate the six trigonometric functions, excuse me, last class period what we did was we created our central angle, right? And then we drew a tr right triangle perpendicular to the x-axis. We knew that this, this distance here was two, this distance was three, and then if you do the Pythagorean theorem real quick, let's see, what would you get? You get four plus nine equals r squared. So r would equal to the square root of 13. Correct? OK. Now, before I get to that, does anybody know what the point is on this unit circle? Does anybody know where this graph points? Well, it's close. This point is 2 over the square root of 13. The y-coordinate is 3 over the square root of 13. Now, we're going to investigate this a little bit further where I came up with this. But there's a really re easy answer for this. The sine of theta for any point on the coordinate, on the, uh, for, any, for the sine of theta for a point on the unit circle is just the what coordinate? Y coordinate. That's 3 over square root of 13, non-simplified. Let's do the triangle. Look at the triangle. The sine of, uh, of theta based on the triangle is opposite over Hypotenuse. See how they're the same thing? Different understanding. Point is not on the unit circle. You have to create your triangle and use your ratios that we understand. Guess what? Point, you know that the point is on the unit circle. You can just take the y coordinate. Isn't that kind of nice? No, it's not nice. I thought that was kind of nice. That's kind of cool. I think the unit circle makes life a lot easier. Rather than having to do the Pythagorean theorem, find the hypotenuse, find the missing side, do the ratio, if I know a point is on the unit circle, I know the sine is y, the cosine is x, tangent's y over x, and I can find the rest of six trigonometric functions rather simply. So now the question comes into, how do we find points that are on the unit circle, right? Yes? I mean, we know that the unit circle is, you know, has a radius of 1. But how do we find the rest of these, unit uh, these 